Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters of Dons. What's Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Hermes and Crafting. We're flying back to Scar's Frontier Outpost after working on the Goodwill's Knight's beautiful throne room, creating our custom crystal cave biome, which I wish was in Minecraft. Don't you guys wish that the crystal cave biome that we built in the last two episodes was an actual biome here in Minecraft? Wouldn't that be amazing? If you haven't seen the episodes that we did last week, definitely, definitely check them out. Looking out over our brand new terraformed area of the base, looking absolutely beautiful. This is totally what I had envisioned for this whole area, minus the dam. That was Cub's idea, and I love that. I absolutely love that, but uh, I think this area came out really, really cool. And it kind of reminds me of a Thanksgiving pumpkin pie. And there's Cubs handiwork right there, working as always, looking super cool. But uh, yeah, I absolutely love this. And also, we just started over in this corner here, the work on this side of the cliff. Now, this is the side that faces Iskol's base, and it looked very ugly, so I'm really trying hard to make this look nice so it looks a little more presentable from his base. But the crowning jewel from this weekend's Twitch streams, of course, was this cave. Let's take a look at it. Now, as you guys remember, I wanted to create something kind of dark and mysterious so that it wasn't like lit up and you couldn't see the end of the tunnel. I wanted to create something that looked like it was an endless tunnel, so I thought, why don't we try some darker blocks, get the coal blocks going in there and see if we can do it. And look at that. Doesn't that look so much better than just having it be, you know, hardened clay or stone? I think it looks very cool, very mysterious inside. It's also incredibly dangerous. So I highly encourage uh, anyone on the server to avoid that at all costs. But uh, I have one more announcement before we get started with today's episode. And that is that Hunt the Hermit Season 2 is this weekend. That's right, Hunt the Hermit, the amazing series where you guys can play a UHC super style game with us, which is really, really fun. So what you gotta do is you gotta be a Twitch subscriber of mine. You'll follow the link in the description to Azuma sign up page. You'll click that, you'll connect your Twitch account, and then you'll be whitelisted onto the server. So it is on the 21st this weekend on Saturday at 7 GMT. And I believe you can still sign up as a Twitch subscriber and then be eligible to play up until maybe Friday or something of this week. So guys, if you're a Twitch subscriber, please, please sign up. I'd love to have you there. And remember, name your sword in the game. You've got scarred so we know who's a true Scar Squad member. And let's get started with today's episode. And let's get started with our project. And this is our project site for today. And I want you guys to remember this scene because once we finish with this, it's going to be very, very beautiful. It's going to be a logging camp. It's going to have a sawmill up on the hill. It's going to have, you know, a little custom river for the water wheel and just generally other kind of logging related, you know, designs. And I want you guys to help me in the comments. Please give me some ideas which you would, you know, think of a logging camp. So think of ideas that would go with this. We're also going to move into our three by three tree in this area also. So I think that's going to be really, really cool. And I'm so slightly apprehensive like as always when going into a big project like this I'm like oh do I have all the pieces together I think we do so we have these markers down as you can see 30 blocks long and 16 wide or something along those lines and I think we're gonna I think we're good I think we're good like always I always get a little apprehensive just like before Wells's cave project I'm like ah, I don't know if I could do it um, but we can I think we got it do you guys have confidence in me I think we can so why don't we hit super fast build mode and prepare the land Of super fast build mode and as you can see our little hill here is looking okay I want to like shrink it up a little bit it's gotten a little too chubby on the bottom there so I need to kind of fix that and down here I've got this giant expanse under the platform here where we're going to be building today and I'm not sure what I'm going to do under here this is like a whole new level to the base and 
Come up with some ideas for me. I want to know what you guys think we could go under there because on top of here is where we're going to build the water mill. So a giant tower is going to reach up to the sky. It's going to have a little um, wheel on the outside, which is powered by the river. So the river flows and it turns the wheel and it saws the, the wood, which is going to be very cool. The only problem is, how are we going to figure out the river? <laughs> you know, rivers can't go uphill. So we're going to have to figure out something here. And my thoughts are on that is that uh, the river's source is a mystery. It's just going to appear out of some kind of nook in like the rock or something like right here. And it's going to kind of flow along like so, go this way right up to the wheel and then kind of dip down here into just a kind of a mini waterfall and then down into the main river below. Sounds like a plan. I think it does. Let me know your thoughts on that. Um, but I was trying to think like, where is the source of the river going to go? <laughs> we got to have some source of realism here. OK, here we go. Let's get our supplies out. So we're going to start working on the water mill. Um, general styling is similar to our other buildings. There's a train station like way over there. Um, and of course, our mine right there. So we're going to be. Oh. Um, excuse me, please enter my inventory. Thank you. Um, so we're going to use these general stylings. So let me jump over here and grab out a couple extra materials. And then the standard kind of um, the shape that we're going to be using for the interior is going to be of dark chocolate. And we're going to use just a little bit of spruce for accents. Let me grab a little bit of that. Very beautiful. And then extra accent color, of course, will be oak. All right, there we go. This is going to be awesome. So this is the little pattern I have built up. OK, so this is going to be what is this nine by seven? And we're going to go straight up. So nine by seven. And then from there, we're going to make a little kind of triangle roof and then a little thing on top similar to that guy um, just to kind of tie in the whole theme. And I think that's so important when you're making a broader build such as Scars Frontier Outpost is to have little details that tie in each of the builds together, similar style or similar use of the materials just to make everything kind of feel uh, part of the same universe. All right. So. This is going to take a little bit, so I'm going to start going on up and there we go. So all the columns are up at 12 blocks and I love being up in the air in Minecraft. Yeah, like we built the cave in our last episodes, which was really fun, a huge change of pace. But I just love being up in the air and overlooking the world uh, when I'm building. It's definitely one of my favorite things to do. There we go. Connect that to there. And so we're just kind of making the bottom section. So establishing those details together in our mill. So the theme for this, or at least the kind of inspiration was actually the water mill at California Adventure that is part of Grizzly River Rapids. And it was kind of an inspiration to this. Now, once you see the final product, it's not gonna look anything like that, um, but that's generally how I kind of got the inspiration for this particular build. And you have a giant box, guys. Doesn't it look amazing? <laughs> All right, next phase here, what we're gonna do is in the interior, we're just gonna start doing a nice interior section of delicious dark chocolate. It's going to be very, very, very delicious. So we're going to bring this all the way across here and bring that in and then all the way up. How? How did you get up here? How did this creeper building inspector get up here to inspect my building? <laughs> oh, he's chasing me. Help me. <laughs> oh, I have a bow. I have a bow. Get out of here. And welcome back and putting the final touches on our cylinder. Let's scaffold our way down and take a look at that progress. So looking super good now of course i'm going to add these extra little wings to each of the ends um, but what we're going to work on now is the windows and like i always say i like to start out with a blank slate and then kind of carve in where we need to place each of the windows now what i'm thinking about is doing two windows two by two so we'll do a two by two window here and there and i think we just made a huge scar mistake <sighs> oh guys it's just scar your favorite scar this is a uh, this is 10 this is 10 isn't it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this isn't a scar mistake this is a scar fail let me see if i can fix it and there we go nine by seven the appropriate dimensions you know i wasn't even surprised that was the funny thing i haven't reviewed the footage and i'm just pretty much like of course this is gonna be wrong I, I don't know. I thought it was pretty funny reviewing the footage. I was like, yeah, I, I barely react. I was like, what was I expecting this to be an appropriate, you know, proper dimensions. So what I've done here is I've got some little slabs going across here. Start out my windows and like always starting out your windows is important to start with a blank slate. And then from there, you just carve in where you want. And so we're going to start up here way at the top. 
And I want to talk a little bit about as we're kind of building up these windows is we had a nice discussion on Twitch over the weekend about crazy experiences in life. And I was asked, what was the craziest experience I've had in life? And I couldn't even think of anything. I'm like the boringest person in the world, but I did talk a little bit about one of the more crazier experiences I've had my health in the hospital and how that shapes me and how I always remember that particular instance and always think about not sweating the nonsense, not waiting for tomorrow, always trying to live in the present and get things done and not always put things off like, you know what, I'd love to do something like that, but maybe someday. Not to live like that, but to live in the now, get it done today because you never know when there isn't going to be a tomorrow. And I think it's a great way to to live by. And I kind of like this little shutter design, but we might end up actually moving this up one block. But I kind of like that design. Let's all let's go all the way up now. Um, but I was like I was saying is, you know, when you're when you're in a terrible situation and I think those can actually be some of the most beneficial things in life. If you look at them in the right way, you know, you take an awful experience you've had and you look back on it and it was like, how did that shape me? And how can I use that, that terrible experience for some level of good? I guess that's why I always try to look at things as absolute best I can to look at things in a positive way. Even just awful things I'm like, is there anything positive that I can make of this? And when I look back at this particular time in the hospital, I had a reaction to um, an antibiotic and it, uh, <clears throat> it was very bad. It was allergic reaction. And they had to intubate me. And I remember, you know, it started out kind of grayish and then everything kind of turned black and white and then to black. And I kind of woke up a little while later, partially kind of like half there, half not. And they were contemplating intubating me at the time because I wasn't breathing well. My heart wasn't uh, functioning properly. And they thought that the stress of this whole thing was, you know, it was just too much. And they had to try to alleviate it by potentially intubating me and taking the work of breathing away. And I just remember the doctors calling code and then just saying, just saying to me, you're going to be intubated. We're going to put you under. And it's like the thought is like, am I going to come out of this? You know, it goes through your head. It's like, am I going to come out of this situation? I did this wrong. So I'm very doing it. Um, and I, like I said before, like I try in my best to live by what I learned from that. And that is you just can't live in the past. You just can't live Oh, that's going to be tomorrow. That's going to be you got to live in the today. You got to live in the now and make things happen right now because you just truly don't know when there's going to be a situation you don't come out of it or a situation where, you know, you're looking back on your life and you're like, you know what? Dang it. You know, there's a lot of things I want to do in life and I don't know if I got them done. And, you know, you can't always do everything you want to do in life. But as long as you at least get a couple of those things done with realistic expectations on yourself, and you can definitely look back on your life at some particular times in your life and you're like, yeah, I was able to accomplish that. That's awesome. To me, when I look back at my life, there's so much still I want to accomplish. That's why I got to live in the today, got to live in the now, got to say, you know what? I'm not going to put those things off. Those amazing scar adventures, all those fun things. That's totally what I want to do. And it's where I want to take a lot of my channel, not, not getting away from gaming or anything along those lines, but, um, but what I want to add to my channel is adventures. I want to travel. I want to do things. I'm not going to let like a disability or anything like that stop me. No, 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 no. That's not that's not a good way to roll. You know, I want to do those adventures. Yeah. Will they be tough? Of course they will. But that's half the point is to show that, you know what? Yeah, they might be tough, but we can definitely, definitely get over them. Most challenges you can get over. They truly are. You know, though, even the most difficult challenges, as long as you you know you can do it, and at least you tried, you know, something along those lines, as long as you try, get over it, you can definitely make a lot of things happen that you just absolutely think could never possibly happen. And that's looking decent. That's looking decent. So let me let me see. Let me grab out some dark oak. Oh, no, nope, dark oak. Get back here. <laughs> that dark oak tried to leave. This is like, oh, Scar, I don't want to become part of the wall. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I just thought that was a really good discussion we had on Twitch. And, and just like looking back at tough times, hard times, not just letting them be tough times and hard times, but almost learning experiences like, OK, you know, learn from that going to be a better I'm going to be a better person I'm going to be a harder worker I'm going to live in the now and things of that nature and uh, when I say now it's just I don't know to me anyway I always think oh, I'm going to do that tomorrow I'm going to do that next week and those things never happen the entire time I've been on YouTube I'm like constantly saying 
I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it next week, next month, for sure. Going to start that new series next month. And then it just never happens. And you look back and you're like, dang, I missed an opportunity. And that's just the worst feeling of all is when you look back and you're like, dang, I missed an opportunity. Um, so why don't we put these guys across here like that? And, you know, I think I think, you know, where I have taken that that advice to myself from those terrible times is especially with the Minecon and TwitchCon. That was a tough trip. You know, a lot of work. It's not easy, like transporting me and taking me places um, because of all stuff that kind of entails. But, you know, what? we did those things. They were tough. It was hard, but it was an amazing experience and something I'll never, ever, ever forget. All right. So now we're up at this level. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to go up like that. Boom and bam. Swoop on and around and bring this across here like that. But what experiences in your life, like a tough experience, have you used to kind of better yourself and to learn from that experience? Um, let me know. Let me know what, what, what you've uh, what you've learned. There we go. Put that down like that. Put that around there like so. Awesome. If you want to hear more in detail of what I talked about, because we had way more time to talk about those things on Twitch, um, definitely check the archive of this past Saturday stream. It was uh, it was a good one. And I think you guys would enjoy looking at that. All right. That is looking good. Can you just imagine with me right now a giant water wheel right there turning? Doesn't that sound amazing? I think it sounds excellent. And a little river cascading around. So I think the water will kind of flow along here like that and then down the cliff slowly and then a little waterfall next to the bridge. I think that is, sounds like the most beautiful thing ever. And look at that cool little tower there poking up above the jelly there looking super, super cool. So we're going to fly up here into the front. And I'm kind of deciding on adding a little bit more detail on the front just to feel like a little bit more established and to keep something looking like it's just kind of haphazard is sometimes just expanding out at the bottom just a little bit outwards like this can really, really add a bunch of detail to it. So what we can do is go something like this. Why don't we go like this for now? I've got an idea for the back. I don't know if this is going to work for the front. So let's swoop on over here and do that same design right there. OK, and then we'll go like that. Ooh, ooh, I'm liking that. <laughs> I like Minecraft way too much. Um, just even like the simplest little things to this day. I've been playing Minecraft since 2010, right? 2010. That's a long time ago. Um, but to this day, like I'm, I'm still like in love with this game. I think it's become more than just a game to me. I think it's become really kind of a, a like an art thing. Like it's really a new challenge like every day to try to do something different, to try to build and change and all those things. And I think it's it's like I said, I think it really is like turned into like an art challenge, if you will, to always try to one up myself each time and try to see if I can you know, achieve a new level of some design. And uh, I think that's why I keep coming back to this game and why I continue to this day. love it. All right, there we go. Cut those blocks out like so. And hmm, how are we doing so far? I like the idea. I like the idea of this. So why don't we jump back up here with a little more scaffolding and let's cut out this section right here. We'll go one, two and a three and then we'll cut out that row up there. Also, give me a little more scaffolding there. A little stingy on the scaffolding today. There we go. And then why don't we bring these pieces like so? I got to think of an interior. Like I, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure I'm going to do the interior. I've got a cool idea for the actual mill, if you will, like the saw. I've done that before, and I've got a cool idea for that. But uh, how to fit that in this particular design? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure. All right, put that. Oh, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that. That's good. Oh man. Like I said, I, I love this game uh, each time always coming up with new ideas. I guess sometimes it's the surprise, you know, you get that. You get that when you have a slight idea, just a little sliver of an idea. And then when you see that idea slowly coming to fruition, it's just ah, it's the greatest feeling, isn't it? I love it anyway. Awesome. All right. That is. Oh, that could be good. Oh, that could be really good. All right. Let me let me get rid of the scaffolding. Let me try something else. Hmm need something right here and welcome back and look at that incredible detail that we have established so far here we got our two nice windows going straight up I think yep there's another little window we couldn't quite see it but this little band where we worked a little while ago I've updated that quite heavily now originally it was a stair and that stair went all the way across so I've changed it out for this top stair that kind of goes outwards like that then a half slab going across half slide on the bottom and a half slab on the top and of course a stair right there 
another stair and a half slab going up on the top to kind of cover up that piece of a log. I think that looks really, really good. Now on this back section here, this is where a bunch more like the buildings are gonna come outwards and things like that. So don't really pay too much attention to that. Now on the front side, I'm still kind of contemplating it. Now, do I wanna take this kind of crown molding band and bring it all the way around or kind of leave it off in the front? The reason being, this is where the wheel is gonna go. So, hmm, I don't know. I haven't quite decided on that account. On this other side here, this is a temporary window just to make this side look a little nicer. Um, this might be a spot where logs get fed through uh, once we get more towards the realism phase. And I think that's always a fun kind of phase in any building is the, I like to call the realism phase where we go through and we actually add those small details like logs that look like they're being cut up and things like that. Um, I think that'll look really cool. All right, next phase is the roof. So let me finish this last section here. I'll meet you on top of the roof. Look at how cool this is all coming out. Now this side of the cliff definitely needs an update, but for the most part, I think it's definitely coming out very nice. And let's see if Air Scar can make a land and it can, can I get some hype in the chat for that? <laughs> Every time I finish streaming and start recording, I still have like recording mentality and I'm like, can we get some hype in the chat? <laughs> all right, let's get started here. Let's grab out some oak wood and we'll see where we kind of want to go with this. So on the roof here, I want to create something similar to like we've done here and there. It's like we talked about at the beginning of the video. Try to find something that you can kind of tie in throughout all of your builds. And that's what I want to do. So I'm just kind of <laughs> kind of plotting this out and I'm not 100% sure where I want to place this block. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to really apprehensive about this once again. <laughs> I think I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go right there and I'm going to bring this up four blocks. So that's one, two, three, four. I'm going to go up to five. We're doing five. That's right. We're going five. We're getting a little wild with ourselves. I think five is going to be excellent. So that's two, three, four, five. Beautiful, wonderful, awesome. And then in the interior section, we'll see how this works out. What if, what if, what if we do something like this on this block right here and then right there. Now I don't have this planned out, so I'm totally winging this whole thing right here. Um, let's see, that's too far up. Let me back that down just ever so slight and then bring this upwards. Okay, okay, this is gonna work, this is gonna work. Oh, I'm getting excited. There we go. Actually, in second thought, might bring those down one block, but whatever we come up with for up here, it's something we can easily take out and replace to whatever we want. Um, but I think we're actually getting somewhere with this. So I think that's a decent design. So let me do this side. And another sunrise above Hermitcraft here as we are finishing up the top section here. As you can see, I've actually brought this down one block. So I've cut out one block on each one of these poles. And then I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna loop these blocks like so. And I think this is going to be the best design. I spent that whole entire night trying to come up with a good design and I think this is it. I think this is gonna be really, really nice. So now what we're gonna do if I can is eat something because I don't wanna die and have all my items splattered all over the river down there. That would be a disaster. But let's see here, okay. All right, this is gonna be great, guys. This is gonna be amazing. All right, I'm actually very excited because I think this is gonna be really cool. I haven't taken a look from a distance. Probably something I should have done, but I neglected to do such a thing. Um, but I think this is gonna be good. I think this is gonna be good. So we're gonna swoop back over here and we're just gonna kind of haphazard put all sorts of these different blocks here and there. Um, so that kind of mixes and randomizes all of the blocks so they're not all the same. So I think that's good for there. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to stick this one here and maybe we'll use a little bit of a smooth stone. Ah, I love it, love a little smooth stone, don't you guys? I love a little smooth stone. Um, stick these guys here. So yeah, it's just totally just random. Find a spot, plop it down, see what happens. <laughs> See if you love it. If you don't, take it out. Nope, nope. See, don't want to really do too... Why don't we do this? We'll do it. No, I don't want to mix. Yeah, I'll just mix it. I'll get wild. We're going to get wild today, guys. Um, sometimes it's actually just easier to do one stone first and then come back and then do it again with like, you know, mix it in. Like maybe now I can do a little cobblestone. Maybe kind of have a cobblestone theme of like a crack kind of going up the edge here like this. And then you could drop down another one and then maybe tie it in over here via another one. So it kind of makes like a little line going across and just makes it look like, you know, like I said, just a little crack. And I think that looks really nice. And we kind of mix these guys together a little bit. And it's just making this look like a rusty old tin shed roof. <laughs> that is kind of the design um, for this. And that's nice. It's nice, right? I think it's nice. All right. And then put this right there. Maybe that. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. 
Um, is this perfect? I don't know. Is it perfect? I don't know. What What is perfect? So let's move these guys together like, oh, there we go. That's what it needed. It just needed to have these things brought together. Um, we can definitely put down, hmm, I actually like that because it adds that extra little bit of depth right there. So I think that's good. And then for the interior, I've actually removed part of this pole and replaced it with milk chocolate, as you can see going across here. So I think that looks really, really nice. And yeah, this is this is coming out really well, I think. There we go, put that down like so. And can we add some extra details here? I bet we can. I think we can figure out something, something like that. Ooh, hello. That looks decent, that looks decent. Maybe this connection right here is not the best, but uh, I'm not half, it's not half bad, definitely. Okay, this is good, guys, this is good. Let me put the last piece right here and there, and then, yeah, so let me jump down, take a look at it from afar, and we'll finish this up. And welcome back to Fail Times with Scar. That's right, it's Fail Times with Scar. <laughs> it's my new name because I goofed up again and badly. So this is what happened. Remember at the beginning of the episode when we accidentally made it 10 blocks instead of nine blocks long? Well, it turns out the width of it was messed up too. And it was actually eight blocks and not seven. So I'm looking up at this thing in awe, like, oh, it's so beautiful, but something is not right. And when I went over here, I looked at it and this was an even number and I'm like, no. Now I would have just left it how it was, but we really need this to be an odd number so the logs can go straight through and not look awkward. And I had to take off the entire back section, shave off a block and then rebuild it again one block less. But in the end, totally looks better it actually does look better so oh fail times with scar today not scar not to yeah this isn't good times with scar this is fail times with scar today it's a whole nother entity oh and it looks like i forgot a block right there <laughs> i can fix that later i can fix that later but in the end my friends i think we've got something really really cool and i'm really happy with the way this has come out it's still got a lot more work to do but we've got this whole little section built up i just got to do a ton of planning how this river is going to flow but eventually we'll build up the secondary buildings all on the side over here we'll build the mill on this side get this all terraformed down and then build up the river along this section right here but other than that, my friends, this has been Fail Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later.